There is more to do with the Aam Aadmi Party. In a fresh twist, the ED filed a supplementary charge sheet against the AAP in the money laundering case linked to the Delhi excise policy scam, that is the liquor gate scam. Opening a new chapter in the country's jurisprudence, the Enforcement Directorate has for the first time ever named a political party as an accused in a case in a supplementary charge sheet filed in the Rouse Avenue court in the alleged liquor policy liquor gate scam. The ED has named the Aam Aadmi Party as well as its national convener Arvind K. Jival as accused. However, the court will take cognizance of the charge sheet today is what we are told according to sources in the investigation so far proceeds of crime of about 45 crore rupees approximately which was part of the bribes received for the South Group and used in the election campaign of AAP in Goa in 2021-22 have been flagged. The ED has also called Arvind Kejriwal a mastermind along with Manish Sisodia and K. Kavita. Viewers, Times now has also accessed the charges pressed upon the AAP by the ED. As per sources, the first is that proceeds of crime totaling about 45 crore rupees were used for the Goa campaign. Second, the bribes were received for the South Group. Third is that Kejriwal is a mastermind along with his former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia and BRS MLC K. Kavita. Next is that the AAP is liable to be prosecuted as a company under Section 70 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Next is also that thousands of documents as evidence in the liquor gate scam have been cited by the Enforcement Directorate. Now, what would be the implications for a political party to be named as an accused as the AAP has? The AAP is going to face the liquor gate heat clearly and there are implications. Now, the first is that the AAP is likely to be tried as an accused in the case. The second is that all accounts of the AAP will be scrutinized is what we are hearing. Third is that the AAP would have to prove that it is not a company but a political party. That is a possible legal defense that the AAP may want to use. And... Trouble is mounting personally for Arvind Kejriwal as he is the chief convener of the Aam Aadmi Party alongside the fact that the assets of the AAP can also be attached by the ED in the liquor gate case and the AAP office bearers could become liable as per vicarious liability rules. The opposition can also accordingly seek the Aam Aadmi Party's derecognition under the representation of the People's Act in case of a conviction. In this case, we have Bhavtosh now joining us. Uh, Bhavtosh, what are the next steps in this? What is the timeline that we are looking at? And how big a conundrum is this for Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal? Agit, as far as the case is concerned, uh, ED has virtually uh, completed its probe uh, in the alleged excise camp. ED has said that uh, they have filed uh, the final charge sheet, or at least uh, this is the um, uh, the final charge sheet as far as the excise policy case is concerned. Uh, they have said that they have established the money trail. Uh, the investigation in the case started way back in August 2022 when uh, they have filed the money laundering case, uh, which stems from the CBI FIR that was also filed in the same month. Uh, what the ED has said is that uh, Adrit Kejriwal was the national convener of the party. Uh, he, along with uh, Manish Sisodia and others, had in fact received the alleged kickback through uh, Vijay Nair. Vijay Nair was then the media campaign manager of Aam Aadmi Party. This was done uh, through uh, Dinesh Arora, who was in fact uh, an accused in this case. Later, he turned approver. Uh, what uh, ED has further said is that a uh, group which uh, ED identified as South Group uh, allegedly paid kickbacks worth at least 100 crore rupees, of which 45 crore rupees was used in uh, Goa election campaign. The Aam Aadmi Party and others have vehemently denied this charge, but ED has said that uh, they have found this money trail and they have also questioned uh, several Hawala operators. Now, yesterday in the Supreme Court, uh, Additional Solicitor General S.V. Raju made a sensational disclosure. He claimed that they have recovered some chats from the mobile phone of a Hawala operator. And uh, this chat was between a Hawala operator and Arvind Kejriwal. Now, they have said that uh, Arvind Kejriwal never, dis uh, never gave the pass uh, password of his mobile phone. Uh, in absence of that, uh, they in fact questioned an Hawala operator. From his mobile phone, they have recovered some uh, some chats, and this chat, in fact, establishes that Arvind Kejriwal was in touch with some Hawala operators. Now, one has to wait and see whether this uh, charge sheet is accepted by the court, whether these charges are proved in the court, but uh, ED has finally filed the charge sheet not only against Arvind Kejriwal, also against the Aam Aadmi Party. Absolutely. Uh, Bhavtosh there sharing fresh information with us that uh, the ED has cited chats allegedly involving Arvind Kejriwal and a perpetrated Hawala operator from the Hawala operator's side. Kane, sir, your dinner. On a tile? 
अरे इट्स एंटी बैक्टीरियल आई एम प्लस टेक्नोलॉजी से बने वर्ल्ड क्लास टाइल्स टाइल हो तो सिंपल हो